A lot of Americans have this erroneous belief that outside of America, there is no country that is great. Gilbert Arena's comment about South Sudan almost beating the United States team the Olympics has been going viral. If you have seen this video, let me know your reaction in the comment section. If you haven't, you're going to see it in a minute. This is the most anti-African thing that you can ever hear coming from a black person. This is a country that recently gained their independence and they were even well enough to qualify to play to a point where they were giving America a run as well at the Olympics. And he came out to say the most racist thing and anti-African thing ever making fun of these people the united states won by one point they really play hard these people put in all their effort they did absolutely well for a country that does not have indoor basketball court qualified and they almost beat the united states even though so many predicted that they would not be able to get to that point this comment pissed so many people off even black americans are pissed at what he has to say about them they almost lost to some africans who are the some africans like it's really really not making sense i have put together what these people are saying and as well his own clip so without wasting much time let's get right into it like they shouldn't have black jerseys on they should just let that color go because ain't <laughs> i thought this shit was in black and white <laughs> extra leftover shoe they use leftover shoes that the usa team didn't want all right y'all can use these they don't even have basketball rims dog <laughs> god see that you know what it is bro they just couldn't see these niggas <laughs> meet over there throwing the game th he throwing the game for his cousins and shoes what's in dirt no shoes sin water and bread them them, that's who we almost lost to. That that is Bobos. That's Bobos team, right? They got no indoor court, nothing. They don't have nothing. I almost lost to some Africans. Yeah, God damn, dog. We almost lost to them. We almost lost. Come on, this team. That's the last team we supposed to lose to or be close with. They don't even have shoes. They get their shoes from America. Feed the children, man. Start. In the second quarter, five hours a day. Them. That was a lot of yeah, energy. Yeah, five hours a day. Them. That's you. We done helped him. We done helped those guys, man. Uh, he loves to go right, but that's crazy. Now they coming back trying to get the goal. Feed the kids. Then we send ward and bread. Them. Them. That's who we almost lost. There is this young man. This is good. Almost right back on Carly Jones. Ooh, Such a cog for the South Sudanese team. Not ready. Right. the open middle, so you got to stay. You know, you know it ain't. Do, do they even have any? Puts it down. Bro, what is wrong with you, dog? You really sat there and said all that, and you think it's funny? Bro, that shit ain't funny. Instead of congratulating South Sudan for almost beating us, for making it a great game, you gonna really fix your mouth and say the shit you just said? Bro, you embarrassed yourself, dog. In South Sudan, I want y'all to know that we don't agree with what he said. I made a video on my page congratulating y'all. And I'm going to congratulate y'all again, man. Shout out to y'all for hooping out there, for really representing y'all country like y'all supposed to. And, and showing the world that y'all are here on this hooping shit. So shout out to y'all, man. Gilbert Arenas, you tripping. We don't agree. Bruh, you just talking out the side of your neck, bruh. Everybody don't deserve a platform, but shout out to you. We got the males. Almost lost to some Africans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we almost lost to the... To the... And the key... I'm going to treat this as specific as I can, with as much nuance as I can, and acknowledging, first and foremost, that is an ignorant person speaking right for as much skill that gilbert arenas has on a basketball court um clearly he's not the smartest bunch in the group and we talk about representation who is representing a group when they speak right is that the representation i should use for my african-american brothers and sisters no but let's keep it going because he adds more nonsense on this right he adds more nonsense <laughs> The, the Ahi Ahi tribe. This is crazy. Man, Embiid over there, goddamn throwing the game. He throwing the game for his cousins and shit. 
With that said, Gilbert Arenas, it might take me about two searches on YouTube before I find someone who is not of African descent, who when they don't like what you say, brother, will tell you to go back to Africa. You just took all the racist talking points about all Africans, yes, including you. They consider you as a descendant of Africans in that group too. Barbaric, not, um, you know, not functional. You know, not 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 able to live in a modern world, not able to create things, still showering a certain way, still doing. Yes. And you you did all of that to get your xenophobic thoughts off. Racist white folks are up 15 in the third quarter. And what an amazing job they did. They gave you a piece of crumb. So you get to claim the nationality of America. Great. Awesome. I got that too. But in then, in that, you thought you had to trade off. You thought there was a trade off involved. To be American, you have to insult Africans worldwide. You insulted yourself. You insulted the ancestors that were taken from the west coast of Africa, brought here, and created what, what, what we now know. As my lovely African-American brothers and sisters, you insulted Jamaicans, you insulted the Trinidadians. That's what you do when you say these type of things and you just say African instead of specifying country. And for the record, that does not mean that that, that that idiot, what he said about the South Sudanese people would have been true anyway, the insults he was spewing at them. My thing is just that you so stupid, you don't even know you insulted yourself and you don't even know you're trying to get nationalist versus nationalist ideas off instead of insulting the entire continent. And lastly, shout out to the South Sudanese team. Instead, So the brother couldn't even focus. He's so stupid. He couldn't even focus on the improvements that that team has made for a sport that is not of them. He couldn't even, he couldn't even for one second, couldn't even just watch the beauty and watching, you know, descendants of Africans playing continental Africans and being competitive no, the colonized imperial mindset was up in his head. You know, it's a joke. It's a joke. One, you're not a comedian, Gilbert Arenas. Two, if you don't know how to joke without insulting yourself, your ancestors, you're not a good comedian. Hey, everybody, let's stop expecting people that do basketball to do thinking. Okay, Gilbert Arenas does basketball poorly. Great at the sport, poor at the thinking. Brought guns to his locker room, got caught got kicked out of the league does no thinking does basketball very well thinking basketball very good thinking thinking world issues um you know geopolitical issues no thinking so next time somebody say something ignorant ask yourself what do they do do they do basketball because then they don't do thinking lebron james perfect example high high basketball iq we're not gonna say shut up and dribble what i'm saying is take what they say with a grain of salt because you have to do basketball at such an elite level that all you can think about when it comes to thinking is basketball. So you have to be like high basketball IQ, high social IQ, very rare, very rare. Same thing with like certain artists, entertainers, whatever. If they, if the thing that they do, if they are elite, if they're an elite actor, they do acting, they, they do pretend all day, everything. Stop taking what they say as like law. Or like how the bulk of black Americans like, you know, I don't want to look at y'all like a monolith. Don't look at us like a monolith and stop. These people have big platforms because they do basketball, not because they do thinking. They do basketball. So when they thinking basketball and they talking basketball, they do well. When they thinking and talking social political issues, uh, issues of identity and how people classify themselves, anything that's outside of round ball in hoop, no good, no good. They shouldn't have black jerseys on. They should just let that color go. Cause ain't nothing. <laughs> I thought this shit was in black and white. <laughs> Extra leftover shoe. They use leftover shoes that the USA teams didn't want. Nah, y'all can use these. They don't even have basketball ribs, dog. 
So first things first, I'm not a big fan of sports, not even a big fan of the Olympics. So it's unlikely that something like this will be on my For You page. And it wasn't. My For You page is full of politics right now. But several people have sent this to me, a couple of them with ill intention. Because they were like, well, Christina, since you're always advocating for African Americans, how do you feel about this? This is not a gotcha moment. How do you think I feel? Have you lost your mind? This is disgusting. And anybody who says otherwise is disgusting to me. It's distasteful. It's hateful. It's anti-black. Literally, my goal is to try to remove all anti-blackness from my system. So when I see anti-blackness, I'm disgusted by it. Coonery comes in all shades and colors. Anti-blackness comes in all shades and colors. And that involves African-American or black American. Now, seeing there's some debates on whether he's African-American or not, that's not up for me to find out because I don't give a fuck about this man. If this is how freely he speaks about South Sudanese people, he's probably going to speak just as dirty, disgusting, and low down to Haitian people like myself. And I hope this video circles around so he could lose his job. And I don't know what he does, but it's clear he's kind of relevant to the sports population or the people that enjoy sports. And I'm not one of them. So whatever he does, I hope it circles enough for his boss to be like, hey, 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 come here. See that? We don't like that. And not only that, what I actually do hope for people who actually think like this about other black people, whether it's xenophobia or anti-blackness, which in this situation is both, I hope one day you get humbled by needing exactly the person you persecute in this video. If it's Jamaicans you hate, I hope one day you're down bad and it is a Jamaican that helps you. If it's Haitians you despise, I hope one day you're really down bad and it is a Haitian that helps you pick up your feet. I know where I'm from. These are the same motherfuckers that would look at me in the face and be like, <laughs> you were eating mud cookies at home. And it's like, okay, cool, nigga, one boat stop away and you'd be eating them with me. Considering we all have the same target enemy and the same problem, what is this? Considering everybody in this group has one target enemy, it's always crazy how we go against each other like this. Oh, Christina likes to dick write African Americans. She's not going to say anything about this. I dick write Haitians too. What's up, everybody? Ayo here. I know it's been a minute. I just thought to record this video to address something really important very quickly um uh, apologies for the lighting i'm in my hotel room and it's poorly lit so hey i know you understand listen something happened this morning uh if you're a basketball fan obviously you know that the united states played against south sudan in an exhibition game ahead of the olympic games but ahead of that game on fox sports on their flagship show undisputed with skip bayless and a couple of other guys, a basketball legend, Boston Celtics legend, Paul Pierce, appeared to be joking about who South Sudan was in terms of their pedigree as a basketball nation. He just, he was making a fool of himself, for lack of a better expression. He was saying South Sudan, um, they're probably no more than six foot three um who south sudan was saying well luca and his team could not make it to the olympics they might as well ha have uh, the, the olympic committee might as well have allowed lithuania or he just, he just kept going on and on and on and on and the game between the u.s and south sudan was played in london it took a lebron james last few seconds i mean lebron james heroics with a few seconds to spare for the United States to win that game. Because South Sudan at some point led by double digit figures. What Paul Pierce did is a microcosm of the reality of the United States. In which a lot of Americans have this erroneous belief that outside of America, there is no country that is great. And we all know nothing could be further from the truth. Because if you think that as large as the world is, everything starts and stops with you, then you must be grossly mistaken. Paul Pierce is on television, on national television. First of all, if you're going for a show of that magnitude, as a journalist, even though, I mean, he ain't no journalist. He's just a basketball player who was fortunate to get a job. Listen, you have to do your research. I'm, I'm a student of journalism. You have to do your research. And if he did his research well, first thing you will understand is the nation of South Sudan, people from South Sudan and the larger Sudan are naturally tall. I saw a documentary the other day. And in this family, the shortest person was a lady who was six feet, five inches tall. I am six two. She would dwarf me. That's what I'm talking about. So for him to have said they're like six three shows a lack of understanding as a result of a lack of research, something as basic as searching Google on. And Americans, y'all need to remember the last time you faced an African nation, it was Nigeria, the country of my origin. And Nigeria beat the United States 
right there in their home backyard, right there in the United States. So if you're analyzing it, we understand the U.S. is trying to reclaim their prominence and their power is back on the global stage. But the worst thing for you to do is to go on national television and discredit the nation they are playing against without giving them respect. That was rude. And for the life of me, I wish the game went the other way so that the trolling can be very, 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 very big. Come on, man. The other day, some, someone met me and said, hey, did you learn English when you moved to the United States or what? And I looked at the person with so much... I don't know, man. I'm, 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 try, I'm careful about what I'm saying here. But I was so pissed. I was like, dumbass, if you knew anything going on around the world, you would know that the Nigerian official language is English. So I'm not speaking English because I came to the United States to learn. I'm speaking English because that's what we speak in Nigeria, dummy. Why do y'all think it's all about the United States alone? You know, we need to do better, man. I'm American too, so we need to do better. Come on, man. It's not all about the United States. There are nations out there with better standards of living. There are nations out there that are cleaner. There are nations out there with better political setups and so on and so forth. Come on, man. Let's show respect to other nations. Let's not think it's all about America. No. And hopefully now No Allows is a legend. Because a team wins the championship in America, they say the, 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 the NBA champions of the world, the, the, the baseball champions of the world, and so on and so forth. Come on, man. Miss me with all of that, man. Put some respect on other nations and all these other athletes who are fighting tooth and nail to bring honor to themselves, to bring honor to their countries, man. Y'all can do better. He's boldly saying that, laughing, kicking, cacaying, making those comments and saying that about people just like him is the absolute crazy thing to see on the media. Talking about we almost lost to some Africans, like Africans don't have the ability to be able to win or be in a certain position. He has to always be like them. He has to always be his own people. And don't get me wrong, you guys, there are so many Black Americans literally calling him out about the BS that he was spewing in that video because, let's be honest, if you think there's nothing wrong in what he said, you are on the same horrible level that he's on. Like, you guys are drinking the same horrible water that he has been drinking because that is such an horrible take to say about people who you closely closely look like who you are almost the same with saying they don't even have shoes here's some shoes that americans have used before like they don't have the balls like they don't have the audacity to be at the level they were they don't have the audacity to play and give those points that they were given at that game like it's so so disgusting the fact that as a grown person he was saying that and laughing like something is so funny like i could not find anything funny in anything that he was saying in that video and he was just there laughing and literally bringing this people down like they are nobody he literally sat down there and just told the world that these people that almost won are nobody like they don't even deserve the position they are in they don't even deserve to play as hard as that like because you know they just came out they are new to they are new and they still qualify so they don't even deserve to be at that level at all let me hear what you guys think these are the people who start the diaspora war these are the people who start the age in black people these are the people who always who will always make the black community go 10 steps backward when it comes to unity. Because imagine the BS that it was spewing out. Let me hear what you guys think. Let me hear, have you seen this video before? Are you just coming across it? What do you think about what he said? Let me hear your take in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one.